We all know the bank robber driving the getaway car is responsible for the burglary committed even though he didn't physically steal the money. But what if the whole plan goes awry? Is the driver responsible for everything his co-conspirators do? The 1974 Illinois case of People v. Kessler explores this question in the context of a messy night at the pub. One day, Rudolph Kessler met up with an acquaintance in Chicago. The acquaintance introduced Kessler to another guy. The three had coffee, and there was some discussion about obtaining guns. Later, at the hardware store, when Kessler heard his acquaintance mention he needed nearly $2,000, Kessler shared that his former employer, the Anchor Tap, kept plenty of cash on site. The three headed toward the Anchor Tap in Rockford, about 90 miles away. Upon arrival at about 10.30 p.m., Kessler stayed in the car while the other two went in, had a drink, and cased the joint. After returning to the car, they all went to another bar for a drink before returning to Anchor. Again, Kessler waited in the car while the other two, who were unarmed, made their way into Anchor Tap to steal the money. Inside, the bar owner surprised the two and one of them shot him with a gun he found during the burglary. At some point, someone called the cops and the two fled the scene. They returned to the car in which Kessler was seated as a passenger. The cops pursued them as they drove off and ran them off the road. The two then fled on foot, and one of them shot at a police officer. This whole time, Kessler remained in the vehicle. In trial court, Kessler was convicted of one count of burglary and two counts of attempted murder. He appealed, and the appellate court reversed the attempted murder convictions but affirmed the burglary conviction. Upon petition by the state, the Illinois Supreme Court agreed to review the case.